Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's June 27th. I have the sides up on my broccoli here. I pulled the plastic sides up, the construction caution fence. I've pulled it up and I've been in here today and I've cut more broccoli. My first cutting of broccoli, I cut all the heads off you've seen in prior videos and I got 17 quart of frozen broccoli. So I'll just walk up a minute and show you that, you know, I'll get right in here kind of and show you that I've cut the broccoli. They're cut back. And then I'll come back in a future video and show you how these sprouts, because I've cut sprouts this time, how the sprouts, the pieces, just sprout back out of this broccoli again. They don't make heads again, but they make lots of little pieces. And so today I picked or cut those little pieces. So I had a head as well. And so in this bucket is the head, one of the heads that I cut off. Um, it's a nice one. And then all this stuff here is pieces. These are pieces that come up after you take the heads. They come up and they, you know, just pop up and grow and then you cut them off. Um, and the pieces are almost as good, if not better, than the heads. So you can just keep taking broccoli over and over again. Okay, so I'll wrap it up there and I'll talk to you in a bit. So in this video, we're going to talk about this aluminum channel. It has a wire in it called a wiggle wire and how it holds on this in this case the caution fence but it also holds the plastic on for anything you want to cover so I'm going to show you the wire and I'm going to possibly put it in here in real time with this foam okay so you just take and bend it and work it into whatever you're putting it into and it just sits in the in its channel and locks down the the uh, caution fence or plastic or whatever you're putting in so I'm showing you how that works and I'll back back up and so you can see it you just work this this wire into the channel note I'm trying to do this one hand on my phone and one hand on the on what I'm doing if I have two hands it's much easier but notice the ease of it just when I'm doing it right there it's simple this isn't hard at all okay so this channel screws on to or bolts on to whatever you're doing this aluminum channel right here and then after bolting that on, then you can just take your plastic or whatever and come down over that channel and run this wire in. And with just a, a, you know, a few minutes of pulling this wire out, then you can access anything in there, you know, change your plastic, do whatever. Okay, hope that explains that. Hey, ladies and gentlemen. It's June 28th, 2021. Right here in front of us, what we're looking at is a wall of sweet pea pods. They, they're a little slow this year to fill out, but they're filling out now. And I've been eating them right off the, the vine there. And I also pick a bunch and eat them as I get through my day. So I'll get a close up real quick. So you can see that they are just loaded with sweet peas. You eat the pod and all in this case. This is a where you eat the pod and all. I let the peas inside get a little big before I eat them, and they're very sweet. This is something that's really good for you. You can eat it raw. Matter of fact, when I look at this one right here, I like that. So I'm just gonna pick it off. I'm gonna bust the end of it off. No, I'm gonna eat it right now. I like it. Okay, I'll talk to you later. The day is June 29th, 2021. This is the third house, or you could call it the first house either way. But this is the house that I've been, that I started the cucumbers earlier in this year. And I'm just giving you a brief look at this house as the peppers are filling in really nicely. My tomatoes look great. So this is house three or one, however you'd want to look at it. But where we're going today is to house two. So I mean, there's some peppers and stuff there. But we'll get into house two here. So this is house two. These cucumbers were started later. And as you can see, they're nowhere near the top yet. You know, but they're looking really good. And they have cucumbers on them already and many blossoms. But what we're really focused on is the green beans to the side. Now... These green beans look really good, the plants do. 
And I've been picking them here and there, just taking the fat green beans off that seem to be getting too big too quick. And I haven't really did an in-depth picking until now. And one of the reasons for that is, is when you start picking green beans, inevitably you start beating them up. And so you they break easy. Um, and you just, every time you move them to get into more beans, it's hard on them. So I wait to the last minute to really start to really pick them. And so today, I'm going to go ahead and really pick them. I'll be back in a minute. So before I start picking them, I'll give you an idea, get, get you to see how many green beans there actually are in here. If I can get on them. There you go. Everywhere you look, there are green beans. And um, you just want to, I just always take the bigger ones and let the other ones grow. And these are two different types of green beans. You have grenadas and what's known as the hulk here. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. And after picking, this is what I've gotten in a stainless steel bowl. Not bad for the first thorough picking. There'll be many more to come. After picking them, I went ahead and watered them. If your beans aren't wilting, don't water them until after you pick them. I managed not to bust too much stuff off in this picking. They look good. And there'll be many pickings to come. So I'm back. This will be a, just a quick uh, update or look at the back here I've taken time to fill in uh, the back of this with odds and ends like I had some green beans so I stuck those in the ground I had some leftover green peppers so I put them here and then I put like six tomato plants because I have cage that many cages in there and I'm six more broccoli that I had left and then up against the greenhouse here is a whole run of beets some of them are doing really good some of them doesn't don't seem to be doing as good and I'm not sure why that is beets like a lot of water and I need to get in there and weed them and that's what I'm going to be doing today but then I'll turn around here now and then of course we've got the squash and the cherry tomato over there uh, the squash here and on down more squash I have to work hard to keep those in control and then the long beans are now starting to really wrap into the fence, and they're doing that themselves. I put them up, put the runner up there, but they just run up there and do this thing themselves. And down at the bottom, they're really thick. Um, I'll have to keep placing the runners probably up the, up the fence there, but the runners are taking in nice. And the, they had a blossom on them the other day, and I, I can't find the blossom now. Uh, maybe it blew off. We had a really bad storm last night. But they get this really nice looking blossom. And so, okay, well, I'm just going to wrap this up for this video. And I'll bring you an update soon here when things change. Alright, well, have a good day and thanks for watching the video. Talk to you soon.